You ready? 5.30, having arrived, called meeting to order. Stand your side, Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, let's open some bids. I guess we're looking at heating oil first. The Deerfield Board of Selectmen, in conjunction with the Deerfield School Board, is seeking bids for heating oil for the 2016-2017 season for approximately 24,000 gallons of heating oil for town buildings and 14,000 gallons for the Deerfield School District buildings. Questions concerning the town may be directed to Mark Tibbetts, Building Maintenance Supervisor at 603-608-8720. Questions concerning the school may be directed to Mike Davis, School Maintenance Supervisor at 603-463-7422, extension 514. Please mark envelopes heating oil. Mail or deliver sealed bids by Monday, August 8, 2016 at 5 p.m. to the Town of Deerfield, A. Raymond Road, P.O. Box 159, Deerfield, New Hampshire, 03037. Fax or email bids will not be accepted. The Board of Selectmen and the School Board reserves the right to accept and reject any and all bids. Steve, what were the gallons? Just 24 or not? I have 24,000 for the town and 14,000 okay. for the school. Thank you. I think we have a bid from Irving. It's a bid from Irving Oil. Fixed number two fuel. 1.764. It seems to be environmental fees and LUST fees. Irving would also offer the Town of Deerfield employees discounted pricing for their homes. Wow. Interesting. Which I think we've discussed in the past and have decided we can't yeah. let. Uh, <laughs> and just for the record, I work for Irving Oil. You get a discount? Actually, I do. <laughs> Good. I don't work for that portion of Irving Oil, but I work for Irving Oil. Right. Rhymes. Heating oils. Trying to find a price. One dollar and one point six four nine cents per gallon for the heating season. Dead River. Dead River, one point five five one zero that's a that's a uh, at the rack price we would offer a fixed price of 1.749 per gallon eastern propane Fixed price of 1.919 or a floating price of 45 cents per gallon over rack price. And this is Palmer Gas Irma Oil. Fixed price of 1.539. Not bad. Actually, that's all the bids. That's all of them? That's all of them. What about propane and the other? Well, we're going to get to that point, but at okay, this point, so you don't need this to read. 
No, not yet. Not yet. Okay. All right, so uh, do we want to hand those over to Mark? We do. For a recommendation. All right, moving on to propane. The Board of Selectmen, in conjunction with the Deerfield School Board, is seeking bids for propane gas for the 2016-2017 season for approximately 4,000 gallons of propane for town buildings and 8,300 gallons for the Deerfield School District buildings. Questions concerning the town may be directed to Mark Tibbetts, Building Maintenance Supervisor at 603-608-8720. Questions concerning the school may be directed to Mark, Mike Davis, School Maintenance Supervisor at 603-463-7422, extension 518. Please mark envelopes propane gas, mail or deliver sealed bids by Monday, August 8, 2016 at 5 p.m. to the Town of Deerfield 8 Raymond Road, P.O. Box 159, Deerfield, New Hampshire 03037. Faxed or emailed bids will not be accepted. The Board of Selectmen and the School Board reserves the right to accept or reject any and all bids. This is a bid from Irving for propane. Fixed propane price is 1.256 a gallon. That's pretty good. one is from Rhymes. Fixed price of 1.199 Eastern fixed price of 1.309 And Palmer Gas Irma Oil. Fixed price of one dollar and twenty cents a gallon. Again, I think we'll hand those off to Mark. The Deerfield Board of Selectmen is seeking bids for diesel fuel for the 2016-2017 season for approximately 8,000 gallons. Questions may be directed to Mark Young, Highway Agent 603-463-7736. Please mark envelopes diesel fuel. Mail or deliver sealed bids by Monday, August 8, 2016 at 5 p.m. to the Town of Deerfield 8 Raymond Road, P.O. Box 159, Deerfield, New Hampshire, 03037. Fax or email bids will not be accepted. The Board of Selectmen reserves the right to accept or reject any and all bids. This is from Irving. They won't give us a fixed. They will give us a variable, um, a variable price that would be today a dollar fifty-six a gallon, fluctuating daily with the market. But the markup over rack of 0 0.081 would not change during the term of the contract. That's a interesting. Rhymes propane. <clears throat> uh, 
<clears throat> Rhymes is offering us 25 cents over Sprague Energy Newington New Hampshire premium diesel cost in the day of delivery. Example of this price today is 1.7363 per gallon. Um, did we specify premium diesel, Mark? Whatever it is in the bid. Well, premium diesel costs a lot more than regular diesel, and it's really not worth it. But we have to rebid it. No, it just says diesel fuel on the bid, but they're saying premium. I don't know if that's just their. But there's no fix on here anyway. Right? No, it's 25 percent over. 25, 25 cents, cents over, over rack price. This one is Dead River. They're willing to offer us a um, fixed price of $2, 2 dollars, 2.049 a gallon. Um, their wholesale, they're saying their wholesale cost is 1.4827, so resulting price paid by you would be 1.6827. So, Are they 20 cents over. Yeah, but they to get it fixed, it's 2.049. Palmer Gas. They're willing to offer us a fluctuating market price of 30 cents per gallon over Irving Oil's previous day closing price in Portsmouth. Is that? There's no uh, fixed bid. I think, uh, I think uh, obviously everybody's seeing uh, some sort of problem with uh, diesel in the future, so they don't want to give us a fixed. All right, once again, we'll hand those over to Mark Young for his uh, recommendation. Is that all right? You bet. Yep. Those two to Mark Tibbetts and that to Mark. All right. Uh, Mark Young, you have a road agent update? Just a real quick update. Uh, Griffin Road is pretty much done. A little bit of shoulder work left to do. Um, we did the shoulder gravel there last week, and uh, but it's just about 100%. Like I said, a little, little work here and there. Um, we got a little bit of money left over, and the reason why I'm here is uh, to ask the board if they would like to have the, uh, the town hall, the parking lot behind the town hall, and the yard at the highway department repaved. Wow. Repaved or paved? Repaved. We'll take up all the old hot top, and we have money enough to do that. And that's also going to include the little graveled parking lot next to the town hall, too. That's what I meant. Yep. So even what isn't, that would help with the... So whatever's paved now... Get it repaved. Will be repaved. And the in addition to the dirt parking lot. The dirt parking lot on the. Um, will, will be paved. Like we have money enough to do that too. Wow. That would sure help the town hall floor. Well, it's just you put the building looks so nice and the yard just looks, you know, and there's a lot of traffic going in mm -hmm. and out of there with us going back and forth and, you know, it's a good opportunity. We got to, you know, there's enough money here to do it, so. I just need the okay to. Um, what are we looking at for rough expense, Mark? On the rough cost to to do everything yeah. is fifty five thousand. Do you think we need any engineering at all on that side parking lot just to make sure that water goes where we? No, the water's all swaled there now and runs where it's supposed to run. Yeah, we should be fine. The, uh, the area that's in front of the highway garage 
is still farmer's mix that they put down in 1975, so it's long overdue. The, the, it gets used a lot with the park and everything else. It would just really, really clean the center up if, you know. Everybody okay? I'm in agreement. The only, the only thing I would mention, um, given the, the cost, uh, we should probably get, I, I don't know if you've already gotten some prices from folks. I assume you have, but we probably this need is to go the, to bid. The, on the quote on this was the quote from R&D who did our, obviously it's a, it's a little more money per ton because it's parking lot work, not road work. I tried to get a price from Barasa, but he was unable to, Everybody's well, busy. <laughs> we'd already given the bid to R and D, so I guess I'd be comfortable. Yeah, R and D was is yeah you know, got our paving bid for the year and works for me. Thank you, Mark, for thinking of that. Okay, and I got one other thing um, over on South Road by by Deerfield Leathers. Um, the house next door had been sold to uh, Severino bought it, and I met with Tom out there the other day and. Um, He's gonna be doing some drainage work in the yard and he pointed out that the culvert that crosses the road is completely rotted out and he offered to change that for us. So we supply the pipe, they'll cut the pavement, change the pipe while they're there working in the yard and no expense to the town. So I told him to go ahead and do it. As long as you monitor what- Yep, what, absolutely. What, what, good. Um, one other thing along those lines, Mark, and I don't know that it's failed yet, but I'm, I'm noticing the asphalt is changing. Um, the drainage pipe at the, uh, I guess the northern end of Haynes Road that runs diagonally across the road. Uh, that one is caving in. We well, the electrical co-op guys put their strut on their truck when yeah. they installed the poles directly on the culvert and punched a hole in the pavement that you guys patched. But now I notice around the patch, the whole thing, whole is, thing is sinking. Sink what's, ha what's happened there too, Andy, is that culvert's completely rotted out. Mm -hmm. And we're going to change that probably not next week, but the week after. And then, and then there's another one on Griffin Road, um, just below Dwight's, that has to be changed too. That's rotted out, and the road's caving in around. I just didn't it. know if we should send the co-op. A, a <laughs> they actually card came. And they a actually invoice. came to me and pointed out when it started. The sinkhole started there. Okay. So yeah, that one's on the slate to be changed. We'll we'll do that one. <laughs> so, Anything else, Mark? Nope. That's it. That's all I have. Thank you very much. So, so we're good with the paving. Yep. Okay, right. I'll go ahead and I'll probably schedule them so sometime mid September, just so you know. Makes sense. Okay, just thank you. On the 13th. <laughs> the I'll election. Check. <laughs> 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 have it done before. That's a good point. You <laughs> <laughs> can get it done before that. Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you, that there's a ruin in that floor in there. Yeah. People come in and stomp. Mm hmm. All right, review of outstanding minutes of the 25th of July. Moved is written. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? Yep. Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? I have an accounts payable manifest in the amount of $516,267.09, of which $500,000 is for the school. So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Request from the assessing department to abate the amount of one thousand seven hundred twenty-one dollars and seventy-nine cents for the two thousand thirteen tax lien on Map two hundred five, lot eighty, located at two thousand two seventy-three North Road in Deerfield, for Robert Robert and Helen Chiquetto. So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Request from the town clerk, tax collector. Uh, on June 23rd, 2016, we received payment of $1,425 first half taxes on 10 Lewis Drive for Gallo from Gallo Title Services. On June 30th, 2016, we received a second payment from Citizens One Home Loans for the same amount. We are requesting a refund check in the amount of $1,425 made payable to Citizens One Home Loans. So moved. 
Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> the letter for the board signature. Jack Cummings. Dear Mr. Cummings, the Board of Selectmen would like to take this opportunity to thank you for your generous donation of a John Deere zero turn 42 inch mower estimated value of $2,000 to the Deerfield Parks and Recreation Department. Your donation will be used at the Hartford Brook Field. Another, another letter to Erica Menard. Dear Ms. Menard, the Board of Selectmen would like to take this opportunity to thank you for your generous donation of $200 to the Deerfield Parks and Recreation Department. Your donation will be used in the Parks and Recreation Summer Camp Program. Also, thank you for the time you volunteered that allowed you to participate in Eversource's Dollars for Doers grant. Know for the record that three members of the Board of Selectmen on the 29th, 30th, and 1st of August approved a payroll manifest that grossed at $58,985.58, netted at $45,411.54. On the same dates, the three members of the same three members of the Board of Selectmen approved an accounts payable manifest in the amount of $43,397.48. Okay, so this is a form for reverse 911, and we're basically taking Dan Dearman off of the, the notification and making it Gary uh, Correct. Duquette. The board will authorize me to sign that. I'll make a motion to authorize the chairman to sign on behalf of the board. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Notice of intent to cut wood or timber, John and Susan Smith. This is on Mountain Road. Another notice of intent to cut wood or timber, John and Susan Smith. Timber Road. It says Mountain Road. This is different. Tax map is different. <coughs> All right, we have to make a uh, Recommendations for the New Hampshire Municipal Association. First, we need to uh, appoint someone to represent us. Uh, Jan has said that uh, she'd be willing to uh, be appointed. So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, we have uh, recommendations. From them. From, from the department heads and Jan as to what to uh, support and what not to support. I would make a motion that we go with the recommendations as recommended by our staff. Second. Discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Very good. Thank you. We need to get that done before the 12th, so that's good. All right, I have a tax collector's warrant. For a current use lunch chain. LUTC money. Yeah, that's it. In the amount of 
$6,500. And uh, this is, uh, the owner's name is JP Structures. This is on map 419 20, and lot 27 and 28. I'm gonna say, we're, yeah. wish to collect $6,500. Cobbler Trail Road. Yeah, this is um, part of Jeff White's development. Okay. Cobbler. Oh, okay. It comes off of Hartford Brook Road. Very good. Okay. Is it one, one, two, three lots? There's, <clears throat> there's a number of them. There are at least four that are being built on right now. Mm -hmm. Well, I have one, two. Next name changes. Okay, so two at 6,500. Two at 6,500, and uh, the second one is also Cobbler Trail Road, but map 419, lot 27 through 31. Make a motion to collect the two amounts of 6,500. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? This one is uh, for Tucker Real Estate, map 419, lot 27 to 32, in the amount of $6,500, and it's also on Cobbler Trail Road. Motion to approve the collection of it. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Highway bulk grant check in the amount of Since the town administrator is not here, I don't think we have a report. Unfinished business. Or new or other. Go ahead, sir. Uh, one thing I'll mention, um, and this I don't know whether this would fall under Mark Tibbetts or Joe Manzi, and I can't take credit for calling it to the board's attention or to Mark's attention because uh, my wife and the Parks and Rec people noticed it. But uh, some of the bricks that were sold as a fundraiser um, for the bandstands, uh, they were engraved bricks that were sold. It seems that those have, some of them anyway have ended up in storage or are, are not there and I, I wasn't sure what the, what the reasoning was behind that and if we should have them out or. Go ahead, Mark. Uh, I'm working on it now. I've already got one quote from um, uh, Bobby Abel and I got another guy coming to look at it. They've been pulling up out of the ground, so instead of leaving them there, I store them into the pump house, and we have, we have the money under the gazebo fund. So Jan's already looked it up. We are gonna do that this fall. 
Good. Because I was down there, they were using them to prop up the barbecue, and I thought. We need to tear, <laughs> we need to tear it all. We need to tear up everything, dig it all out, reset it, repack it, put the blocks back in. Okay, great. Thanks, Mark. Anyone else? Any business whatsoever? We don't need non public today, right? Citizens' comments. Motion to adjourn. See them in town. Go ahead. I just want to. I just want to bring to attention that the um, we did receive the ten thousand dollar grant on Friday from um, for the jaws, and we are. It has been audited, and we should have it within three to four weeks. Excellent. Thanks, Mark. You got something you can rip up with them as a demonstration when we get it, or? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it looks like. It. Second. Motion. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. Thank you all for coming.